What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanna do a quick tutorial on using the IP command in Linux. So as I stated in the intro, I wanna do a quick tutorial on how to use the IP command. Now the IP command was created to replace ifconfig and is used to bring interfaces up or down, assign and remove addresses, as well as managing routing tables and much, much more. So in this video, I will show you how to use the IP command through practical examples and detailed explanation of the most commonly used options. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, the IP command is included in the IP route to package that's installed on all modern Linux distributions. So therefore is no need to install it. So let's get right to the man page and let's type man IP press enter. And this will bring up the, you know, the information for the command. And as we can see the the name is IP. Uh, and then this is a brief description. So show, manipulate, routing, network devices, interfaces, and tunnels. And here is the synopsis. So this is the way you run the command. So you got IP and you have options or objects. And as you can see, it's a lot of different options. Uh, you know, you got link, address, you know, address label, routes, rules, and a bunch of other, you know, objects. And then you you can look down here and this will show you the the options that you can run as well. And if we scroll down, you know, you can read about a lot of these different options. They'll have an explanation on how to actually use them and what they're used for. So let's go down and quit this. And I want to go down and show you guys how to actually use the command now. So uh, I'm going to press Q for quit and that'll take us back to the command line. So if we type clear, that'll clear out what we already typed. And the first thing I want to do is show you guys the most commonly used objects. And these are objects that I typically use whenever I'm messing around with my network. And so let me start off by typing uh, IP. And then the objects would be the actual, it could be like the link or the address or the route. And those are the three examples I'm going to show you today. It's, and link it allows you to display and modify network interfaces and then address it allows you to display and modify IP addresses and then route it allows you to display and alter the routing table and just to show you a little a little help feature so let's say we want to look at address which is the first one I want to actually mess with so you could type the object that you're you want to mess around with and then type help after that and if we press enter on that, it gives you an example of how, how to actually use the address object as well as some of the options that you could throw in there. So let's clear that right fast. And let me go down and show you guys that command. So it's IP uh, address. And you can abbreviate the command. You can either type out address fully or you could type ADDR or you could type A. But I'm going to just stick with ADD or so you guys can understand what I'm actually doing. So the first option I want to show you guys is basically show. So IP address show. And this will show you all the interfaces that are on the system, as well as the IP addresses associated with those interfaces. So if we go, if we look up here, this is the loopback, which we'll ignore. And then this is my, my, my main network interface, which is basically my Cat5 port. This is my Wi-Fi cord, which is built into the system, which is currently down right now because I have another network cord, which is a USB network cord, which handles 5G. That's why I use that, that network cord. That's why I have two Wi-Fi cords. So that's what this one is. And that's, that's why I'm actually using this one to actually connect to the internet because I get faster speeds over Wi-Fi. So that's pretty much how you use that command. And actually another way you can simply type in IPA. And this is the way I typically 
uh, look at all that same information. So you could type IPA and it'll show, but I just wanted to show you guys the full command. This is how you actually run that command. So IP address show, and then you can also type IPA. And let me clear this because it's getting kind of confusing because all that on the, on the screen. Now, let me go down and show you guys how to filter out certain information. Let's say you want to look at uh, IP version four information only. You can actually type IP and then dash four and then address and then show and press enter and that will show you only IP version four addresses. And as you can see, it kind of filters out the other devices that are not active. They don't have an IP address associated with it. So, so that'll filter them down. And then also, if you want to look at IP version six, you just basically type dash six and it'll show the dash six address, which is right here. Okay. And another way I want to show you guys how to filter it out. Um, let's say we only want to look at this device and everything associated with this device. So if we type IP address and then show and device, so DEV and then that interface name, press enter. And then there you go. It'll show you everything associated with just that device. So you won't see any other, any of the other devices. If you, you know, kind of filter it down by device. Okay. So now that I've showed you how to actually look at device, the devices or show the devices, I want to go down and show you how to actually change things about the device, meaning just modifying the IP addresses and just a little bit more information. Whenever you're making changes to the device, you have to run the commands as sudo. As you can see, I didn't have to use sudo just to show information about the device. But when you get into actually changing things about the device, you have to use the sudo command. And let's say we want to add another IP address to that device uh, in an IP version four. So let's type this in right fast and let's go sudo uh, IP address and then add, and then let's just give it an IP address. So I'm gonna go 192.168.10.50. I know that's not assigned to anything else. So I'm gonna use that one and then slash 24 network. And then the device, which we, I think I already have it copied. Yeah. And that's pretty much the command. So we'll add an IP address to this device. So if we press enter, like I said, it's sudo privileges. So you have to type in your sudo password. Now you get to go. So if we go up, I'm gonna go up on my uh, on my keyboard by pressing the up arrow to you know kind of go through the commands that I've already ran. So I want to go back to this IP address show dev, and then the device press enter you'll see that we have that other ip address assigned now right there and you can assign as many ip addresses to you know a device and just to explain a little more none of these changes that we're making will stay they're not persistent so if we reboot this system uh it'll remove those changes that we made so this will only stay this way until we reboot the system or we remove the IP address from the device. So that shows you that. Let me go down and clear the screen and show you guys how to actually delete that IP address. So I'm gonna just go up on it to where I added it. And the only change you have to make to this command is Dell. So that's how you delete. So it's sudo IP address delete, then the IP address. We know that that's the IP address because that's what I set and then the device and if we press enter there and it didn't prompt me for my password because I just recently typed in my pseudo password and you know, there's like a, a time limit before it actually resets for you to type in your IP address again. So let's uh, show that device and we'll see that 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 IP address has been removed from that device and that's the DHCP IP address right there. That's still there. So we're good to go. That shows you how to actually assign IP addresses to an interface. Now I want to show you guys how to display and modify network interfaces. 
and that's using the link option. So we use the address option. Now let's use the link option. So if we go IP link show and press enter, that'll show us all our devices. That's pretty much what it's showing you, the devices. And as well as, you know, the MAC addresses uh, for each device on my system. And it basically excludes all the IP information and just show you the device information. So that's how you actually use the link option. And another thing you could do, just like on the address command, you can go IP link show, and you can specify the device that you wanna look at just to kind of filter it down. So I'm gonna just show you guys that, but that'll filter it out and just show you that one device if you wanna work with that one device. Now let me show you how to change the status. So as you can see, this device is up. So let's say we wanna bring this device down. So the command for that is simply IP link and then set, and sorry about that, space set, dev, and then the device, and then down, and press enter. And I totally forgot you have to use sudo. Like I said, when you make a change, you have to use sudo. So let's press enter there. Okay, cool. And so now if we go back and look at that device, you'll see that the status is actually down. So state down. And let's go on and bring it back up. Because right now I don't have any internet. So let's bring it back up. Uh, so let's go sudo IP set dev, then, you know, the device name. And then we can bring it up. So that's very simple command so if we look at that device again boom we'll see that it's up so let me clear this right fast now let's move along to displaying and altering the routing tables and i'm just going to briefly show you these commands just to show you how to actually use them it's pretty simple but let's say you want to look at the routing table so if we go ip uh route and press enter that'll show us our, our routing table and then there's another way of running it so it's a longer way ip route list same thing you know it shows you the same exact thing and let's say we only want to look at the the route for for here all you have to do is you know type that same command paste in you know the network and that'll show you just that one so that's just kind of filtering it out just like all the other ones but the main thing I want to get to is showing you guys how to change the or modify the routing table. So if we type in sudo, let's not do like last time and not type in sudo. So sudo IP, let's go route, add, and then I'm going to use that same network and I'm going to mess with that. Um, our main device, which is EN, what is it? P3. And just give me one second. I'm going to try to... <laughs> Try to pull it out right fast. S0. So S0. And press enter. And that'll add that to our, our routing table. So if we list it again, IP route list, you'll see, you know, that device. So all traffic, you know, for that network will go through that device. Well, through that device, I'll go through the network. Uh, so you can, you know, change the routing table using that command. So let's go up one here and the it's the exact opposite, you know, to actually remove something out the writing table. You just type Dell, press enter, they'll delete it out the routing table. And so if we go IP route list again, you'll see that it's gone. So that's basically how you modify the routing table if you need to. Let's say you have like two separate, you know, subnets that you want to talk, you know, that's what that's useful for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some out of it. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave comments down in the description box below. And of course, keep it techie.